this chicken is gonna be kicking. <laughs> We're about to make a one pan chicken and potato dinner tossed in baharat. Baharat is a spice blend and it has cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, paprika, and more. This here is the star ingredient of the rub. We're gonna start with a good half a cup of some good, rich and peppery extra virgin olive oil. Then juice of two to three large limes right here. Four tablespoons of tomato paste. This will add umami. We're gonna chop up a good 10 to 15 garlic cloves or a whole head of garlic. You can scale back, but I wouldn't advise it. Garlic goes in. Don't forget the bharat, our star ingredient. You can find this on the mediterraneandish.com. Just hit the shop tab. We're gonna go in with two teaspoons and a dash of red pepper flakes. Okay, now I feel like the party is ready. Kickin' and chicken, kickin' and chicken. <laughs> Grab yourself a baking dish and prepare it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I've got myself here one pound of baby potatoes, different colors. I'm gonna just cut these up a little bit smaller. Might as well put the shallots in with them, why not? Now we're gonna go ahead and put the delicious baharat rub all over this potato party. A good dash of kosher salt. Help it out with a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Now toss. Flavor party right here. Add these potatoes in. And I like to kind of put them on their flat side. We're going in the oven at 425 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes with the potatoes by themselves. Pat your chicken dry. I'm working with eight boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Just give them a good sprinkle of kosher salt on both sides. And now we're gonna marinate the chicken with this baharat rub while our potatoes are cooking. Baharat party happening right here in this bowl. Toss this around. Make sure every chicken thigh is well coated. You only really need 15 minutes for it to sit at room temp while your potatoes are cooking. We're gonna toast up some sesame seeds. Just keep tossing, watch them carefully. No oil or anything necessary, just a hot pan. All right, we've given the potatoes a head start. Now we nestle in the chicken. No wasting any of this. We're going back in the oven still at 425 for about 30 minutes or so or until the chicken is fully cooked through and the potatoes are so tender. Now this is a kicking chicken dinner. Finishing touch, sesame seeds, and then a sprinkle of fresh parsley flakes. One pan dinner, you don't need much else, but if you like, grab one of my salad recipes. The recipe for baked chicken thighs with baharat is up on the mediterraneandish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.